Welcome to our lecture online. Now Einstein had a brilliant ability to think of thought experiments that would explore the universe in a way no one had ever explored before. And so here was one of those brilliant insights, and let's call it number two in our set. And so what he was thinking about is this. Let's say that two people are on the earth and they're playing a ball game. Let's say they're doing, they're playing volleyball, they're tossing the ball back and forth. And because we always experience gravity on the earth, and we know that the acceleration of gravity is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared, we can see the event unfolding and we see how the ball will lob back and forth. We see how the gravity acts on the ball and we're perfectly familiar with that. So we can go out there and we know exactly how hard to hit the ball, or how far to toss the ball to get it to the other person, what angle we should throw it at or toss it at. So we're familiar with the laws of gravity, at least from experience, and we know how things unfold. Well, let's take those very same two people and put them on a spaceship far away in space, far away from the gravitational force of the Earth. Now, when they're in the spaceship and the spaceship is not moving, or let's say the spaceship is moving at a constant speed, they will then feel weightless. They will kind of float through the spaceship like little butterflies, and they will have to be very careful not to bump their head against the side as they're moving around. But once the spaceship begins to accelerate, and let's say the acceleration is equal to g, 9.8 meters per second square, then, again, they feel like there is gravity. They have the same effect as if they're standing on the Earth. Matter of fact, they have no way of knowing or telling the difference between being on the spaceship and being on the surface of the Earth. They can grab that volleyball, they can start playing ball again, throw balls around, play games, do experiments, and no matter what they try to do, there's no way they can tell the difference of the reaction and action of the ball over here compared to what it was like when they did the very same thing on the Earth. Any experiment they choose to, to experiment with, they get the very same results as if they would do the experiment on the Earth. There'd be no difference whatsoever. Matter of fact, you cannot differentiate the effect of any experiment in these two situations, at least that's what Einstein professed, and he was absolutely correct. And because of that, he was able to formulate the general theories of relativity. This was the start, this was the concept that there really was no difference between these two situations as far as the laws of physics were concerned. So if the laws of physics here are exactly the same as the laws of physics there, then he began to think of all kinds of other situations that would then arise, which would explain the phenomenon, which we then later observe. So again, brilliant way of thinking about the universe, about the world, about the laws of physics, and he again was correct when he came up with this formulation. And then we'll see in a little bit how that then affects the way we look at the laws of gravity, the laws of time, and the gravitational effects in space. So, he was brilliant and he came up with some brilliant ideas. It never ceases to amaze what this man was capable of thinking of. And that's how we discovered all these various aspects of the laws of relativity.